to the Histology Lab on Maryville College campus. I'm Macy Holt. And I'm Matt the Cameraman. And today we'll be looking at the process of mitosis in onion root tip and whitefish blastula. For those of you who don't know, histology is the process of permanently preserving animal and plant tissue and make, in order to make slides that we can view on a microscope. In other words, going from a robin's tongue or an onion in Dr. Crane's garden to a slide that we can view such as this. Now, the reason that we have chosen to use the onion root tip in the whitefish blastula is because their cells reproduce quickly and they absorb the stain easier, which means we can get great snapshots of mitosis. But of course, you can view mitosis in other animal and plant cells as well. So let's take a closer look. In this image, we are looking at a photograph of onion root tip cells. We know this is a plant because of the structure and rigidity of the cell walls. On the left side of the image, you will see a cell and interface. At this point, the nucleus is intact and the DNA is uncondensed. The spindle apparatus has also not been formed. On the right, you will see a cell in the beginning stages of prophase. At this point, the DNA has started to condense into chromosomes and the nuclear envelope has begun to break down. At this point, spindle fibers are also extending and connecting to the centromeres on the chromosomes. By the end of this phase, they will have completely attached to these chromosomes. In the next image, we see cells in metaphase. At this point, the microtubules of the spindle apparatus have pushed the chromosomes to the equator or the metaphase plate. Following this alignment, spindle fibers will pull chromatids to the opposite poles, which leads us into anaphase. Towards the bottom of the next image, we see a cell in anaphase. At this time, the movement of the spindle fibers is pulling sister chromatids apart into opposite ends of the cell. In the last image, we see a cell undergoing cytokinesis and telophase. The spindle fibers have broken down and nuclei are reforming as the chromatin uncondenses and nuclear envelopes are rebuilt. A plate of cellulose is being built across the center of the cell to divide the cytoplasm. This plate will also become the new cell walls. Here we are looking at the whitefish blastia. We can tell these are animal cells because they lack the rigid cell wall seen in the previous images. However, the process is still very similar. In this first image, we see cells in interphase and prophase. Notice how in prophase, the chromatin material is condensing into chromosomes and the nuclear envelope is breaking down just as it was in the onion root tip. Next, we have cells in metaphase. The chromosomes have lined up along the equator and you can see the spindle fibers attached to their centromeres. Here we have a cell in anaphase. Just as seen in the onion root tip cells, the spindle fibers are starting to pull the sister chromatids to opposite poles. Following anaphase, we have telophase. Notice in this image, the spindle fibers continue to pull apart the chromatids and the cleavage furrow has started to form. In the last image, we see the very end stages of cytokinesis, where the cells have almost completely divided and the new cell membranes are forming. Now we have observed the process of mitosis in onion root tip and whitefish blastula cells. See you again next time on The Science of Food.